Hey, we're outside of Kinga Surma's candidate office here in Etobicoke Centre. It's been pretty much business as usual here today. Earlier, volunteers were going in and out, though. Didn't appear any of them had any knowledge of what was potentially coming down the pipe today. One person who hasn't been here, Kinga Surma. Though inside those doors is longtime Ford staffer Dan Jacobs. Now, as our camera went in earlier in search of some answers, he quickly showed us the door. I'm declining entry for this private property. Okay. That's the instruction I've been given. That's, that's, that's the only release that's going to be done is the police comments from this one. Kinga Surma's whereabouts might be a mystery today, but her story in political circles is well known. Surma worked on the failed Sarah Thompson mayoral campaign in 2010. Following that, Surma was hired during the Rob Ford reign by then councillor Peter Milchin, who's now running for re election as the Liberal candidate for Etobicoke Lakeshore. I hired Kinga, I think, in uh, early 2011. Um, I believe it was her first uh, kind of real full-time job. And, uh, in politics? And, yeah, and she worked for me for a few years. What was her position with you? Uh, she was a constituency assistant. You let her go? Uh, yes. You did fire her? Yes. Why did you fire her? You know, that that was in the media a couple of years ago. It's uh, generally, you know, you don't discuss personnel issues uh, once uh, you've terminated somebody. You know, it's uh, uh, it w was no longer tenable for her to work in my office. Uh, when I would knock on doors and people would self-identify. As the story as goes, Milchin vacated his post as a councillor to run in a provincial by-election against Conservative candidate Doug Holliday. Instead of backing her boss, Surma went to work for Holliday. If that wasn't awkward enough, it's alleged she was canned by Milchin because she used city resources to help bolster Holliday's provincial campaign. Milchin remembers a young woman eager to make her mark in politics. She uh, was pretty green. Uh, she was a hard worker. Um, you know, I gave her some, some projects to work on. Uh, you know, I was relatively pleased with uh, with how she did them. She she was a quick learner, but uh, extremely ambitious and uh, hyper partisan. And uh, you know, I'm not surprised that she's seeking elected office. She she told me way back then that would be her goal eventually. Surma was also a council candidate in the 2014 municipal election for Etobicoke Lakeshore. She lost. Now, again, we reached out to her multiple times today to share her side of the story. As of tonight, she's yet to respond to our calls.